Hey guys, Needle here, and I'm just going to do a quick look at Xavier Rhodes. He was a first round draft pick for Minnesota Vikings out of Florida State. And on this player, we're seeing him play a left cornerback. So, uh, one thing Rhodes seems to be doing quite well with is his ability to press at the line of scrimmage. And also, I want to just show how confident the Vikings are in Rhodes early on in his football career. This is his third game against the Browns. Um, we're going to see him line up in an inside technique on the wide receiver, giving away that outside to the sideline. He engages well right off the bat, two hands on wide receiver, actually keeps him at the line for a decent little bit. You know, he doesn't let the wide receiver get any separation on his pass route. It's uh, quite impressive play from such a young guy. And... You know, being able to press like that can really help you down the road and against very physical, strong wide receivers. I want to look at what he does towards the end of the game in Chicago as well. Tom, like we, said. <clears throat> we see him pressing here against Alshon Jeffrey. Um... He is, seems to be quite strong, quite physical. I uh, Xavier Rhodes, really impressive start from what I've seen. And you look how physical he is on a wide receiver. He's on an outside technique, too. Um, he can play outside because of the safeties over top. He wants to force wide receiver towards these safeties. Uh, just to give you a little bit, Xavier Rhodes is six foot two, 210 pounds. For a cornerback, that has a tremendously good size. We see him... Um, pressing, he pushed Jeffrey into the inside. That's where the help is. They're playing kind of a squat corner. He's got the flat out here. So when this man comes across, uh, he drops down on him. I believe this is Chad Greenway. He's the one that uh, kind of lets Jeffrey get past him. Unless there's a mix-up in the coverages. Um... Sometimes it's kind of hard to dissect these NFL coverages because I don't know what they're playing on this side as opposed to this side. Jeffrey does get free, but what we take away from the play is that Rhodes was able to kind of dictate where Jeffrey was going on his route. There was no way Jeffrey was taking an outside release here and trying to beat the cover two safety to the corner. Something tells me that Rhodes messes up on this play because of how he backtracks and Greenway kind of has to rally for him. But the press was strong. <laughs> and he has shown relatively good coverage throughout the game. Uh, Pro Football Focus really likes him in this game. And if you guys follow me, you probably know that I'm not a huge PFF fan, but you know, someone over there likes what he was doing. Again, he has two safeties over him. You know, one right there. So he's okay pushing this wide receiver to the inside. That's why we see him a little bit more to the outside. He gets swam, which isn't always ideal. Alshon's a very big guy. I mean, he makes... Rhodes looks small, but at least he's still able to get some hands on him. Doesn't really slow him down, but makes sure Jeffrey wants to get to that corner end zone. He has to do it through the inside route, not down the sideline. And here's a pass right at Rhodes. You see when he's not physical at the line of scrimmage, it's a little bit different player out in the open field. He looked to be a little confused pre-snap, too. Now, he was still physical. He was still getting hands on the wide receiver downfield. Maybe a little bit too far downfield. Could have been a flag there. And we'll watch it one last time. Jeffrey was playing off the ball. So the ability to press kind of gets negated a little bit because of the difference. If it, if, a wide receiver's on the ball, it's a lot easier to press him than if he's off the ball. Sounds fairly simple. Um, our safety's playing quite deep. About 20 yards off the ball. So, 
pushing him inside still doesn't do a whole lot because there's still a lot of space here. Uh, I still would like to see that rather than letting him down the sideline. Jeffrey does a good move. And Rhodes really just gets beat. And I think part of it is uh, he's not able to press on this play. That probably should have been a touchdown. Does he tip it at the end there? Might be a tip ball. Ah, he does tip it. So he it's a good rally from him. It's a good job to rally at that spot. Uh, you do not want to let the wide receiver down the sideline like that. I mean, he didn't even push him to the sideline. There's still a solid yard or so for Jeffrey to run. Uh, but at least he rallied. He was, showed his athleticism to tip the ball out. You know, it's a fairly strong play. And if you draft a guy in the first round, it be a cornerback. You're hoping you hit. The cornerbacks are very important in the NFL. He was uh, middle round, middle of the first round pick. Uh, so far what I've seen, I've watched his game here and against the Browns. And it looked quite good. A few negatives, a few rookie mistakes, a few confused coverages. don't entirely seem missed coverages. But he's very physical and... With the athleticism he shows, that's a very good combination. And if he gets his plays down right and sees more snaps, we could be seeing a lot of Xavier Rhodes in the future. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, we do a couple more of these. Um, follow me at the stuff at the bottom of the YouTube page. Appreciate it, guys.